question is from Moitz121. Moitz. I know <laughs> squats are best for leg development, but if you had to choose between the leg press and the hack squat, which one is better? Oh, God, not even close. <laughs> you, you know it's what? Not even leg close. press. You, yeah. know, you know what? I'm going to just no, kidding. I tell you what, though. Oh, God. So No, you're not making the case. No, 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 no. Hear, hear me out. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I want to make this exciting. You know, uh, in the 90s, I'd say 80s, 90s, and maybe early 2000s, the leg press was one of the number one mass building exercises for the lower body for bodybuilders. So bodybuilders would always put leg press near the top. Hack squat was always two or three notches below. And believe it or not, hack squats was considered to be more of a shaping exercise by bodybuilders back in those days. Now I can see I could see where I could argue that, right? Um, one of the benefits uh, of bodybuilding uh, and and focus and they're so heavily focused on hypertrophy and the pump yeah that the leg press lends itself well for that reason i mean try you know going to failure every time you hack squat or you barbell squat you know you're fucking damn near folding yourself into two and mm -hmm. pot potentially risking a lot of injury a lot of times and so it's just not feasible to be training to failure and drop setting like crazy on a hack squat and a barbell squat but a leg press I mean, you could be taxed like crazy, get under there and all the way to the very last rep and you're not going to probably hurt your low back, you're not going to hurt your neck, you're not going to hurt your hips. Or it's There's not a lot of risk for chasing that yeah. like it's, failure. It's also the load, right? So I'm, I'm talking about a hack squat on a sled, not the hack squat that we'll do with the barbell, right? So when, you, when you're doing a hack squat on a sled, think about the amount of weight that you can load on it. Now think about the amount of weight that you can load on a leg press. And both of them are relatively sim similar. Like a hack squat typically is on a higher higher angle, so you're definitely going to be it's going to be harder to push with a hack squat because a leg press is typically at what? 45 degrees. Hack squat probably closer to, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's definitely not 45 degrees, a little higher. But with a leg press still, you can load a ton of weight. And I think it's the the fact that you can load that much much weight might be why they tended to pick that one as a mass builder. When I lift it's a smaller range of motion. That's the other thing, though, too, right? It seems it's a, it's a much shorter range of motion. You're not getting that. Full if you go further, it's it's really detrimental. I mean, you're you're in a bad position with your hips and your lower back if you're trying to get even further into your chest. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. Um, the leg press used to be people used to think that was a safe uh, one of the safest leg exercises you could do. That's actually one where I've seen people hurt their backs. I've seen people hurt their backs <laughs> bad on those things. Well, because they load it up. They load it up so exactly. so heavy because you ain't you frivolously. Ain't, yeah, you ain't loading that much up on a barbell squat because it's gonna it's gonna fold you up, right? So I, I if you were to talk to like our friends like Brett Contreras or Eugene, like I mean they would for sure. Uh, I mean they they make the case that a hack squat is superior to a barbell back squat mm. many times. So. The value of a hack squat, I think, is incredible um, because you get similar benefits as you do with the barbell squat. You just don't quite have as much of the instability because you're on a sled and a machine, but you can load it and make it hard as fuck, and you can go deep all the way down just like you would do an astagrass squat. So uh, the, to me, it's not even close to which one is uh, better for overall leg development. I think the hot hack squat is, although I, you know, I leg pressed a lot, uh, early on and I actually, the way I leg press though, um, I always single leg leg press. Yes. Yeah. No, you're a big I advocate that a for that. Too. I am a huge on that for a couple of reasons. One, I don't have to be an asshole and load 40 plates on there. Right. Yeah. Cause I can, <laughs> I can leg press the shit with just about anybody. Like yeah. I can leg press single leg press. I can load, I've loaded up to six plates on each side. Wow. So which, if, imagine if I was doing both yeah, legs, you easily it's, can it's do double. That hard. Right. It's not that hard to get up there, <laughs> but sing, what I love about the single leg is it, it does force a little instability. So I have to like stabilize my knee. So my knee doesn't cave and, uh, and flex in like that. Um, I don't have to load the plates up as much. I feel like it's a, a little more comfortable for me to go deeper in my range of motion. It's not, it's not rotating your low back yeah, so much. Yeah, so uh, I'm a big fan of leg press, single leg press. I haven't done both feet on the leg press in a long, long time. It feels like lifting weights in a recliner to me. <laughs> It's fucking lazy. I think it's worthless. I, I mean, feel like I'll do it. I'll do it for like you know building volume and stuff for my legs. But other than that, 
I can't justify it as like a legit. That's what it's it's great for that, right? It's a great yeah. volume builder. It's a yeah. great way to do drop sets. It's a great way to it's a it's a great tool. Okay, I know I know, I know we're hammering on it a little bit, but it, it is a great tool. Out of the leg machines, it's one of the better ones. Right? Yeah. You have to say. Right? Yeah, yeah. You can make that case. There's I mean, not a good. There's not a lot of great. It's leg better machines. than the, it's going to give you more development than a leg extension That's or a leg sure. curl. You know, That's it's going to give sure. you a lot more than that or a, a, a adductor. No, adductor. I like what you said about the single leg, uh, the single leg version, because when you're doing a single leg version, typically, what's the other leg doing, Adam? You have it down. Uh, down yeah, below you. Yeah, it fits right underneath the underneath the machine. So when you're doing that, because one leg is down, it's anchoring your hips nicely and preventing them from doing the rotating up at the top that mm -hmm. can cause so many leg prop. Uh, excuse me, uh, low back issues with the leg press, right? Because that's where the back issues uh, happen is when right. people are leg pressing both legs, it pushes them down. They get that that pelvic tilt at the bottom, yep. and then you get the hurt, you know, yeah. discs or or whatever right. in the, the low back. Stress all goes right there. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm telling you, and when you were if you read bodybuilding magazines in the '90s, and bodybuilders were talking about their favorite mass builders for legs, and I know because I read them all. <laughs> uh, leg press, leg press was always number one. And my original leg routines were. Leg press, hack squat, leg extension, leg curl was my staple. And, that was it. And I do want to, uh, I do want to end this or close this loop on this by saying that one of the things that we always talk about on this show that you know, especially in an argument like this where we can kind of make the case back and forth, which one has more value? You know, which one was going to have the greatest value is the one you never do, right? So if you hack squat totally. every single time and you're really good at hack squatting because that's your kind of go-to or because some other fucking fitness professional said it's better, it's superior. Well, it's no longer superior when you've got adapted to it and you're, you've yeah. been doing it for six months plus consistently. You know what's going to be great for you? The leg press yeah. because you never do it and you do it. And so, and the same thing is true if you always leg press. So you got to remember that the novelty piece with the body is so, is so important when we're trying to adapt and change. When you're trying to get, if you want to get good at just leg pressing or good at just uh, hack squatting, then you stick with it over and over for as long as you can until you get great at it. But if you're looking for leg development and we're trying to build legs, build our muscle, then one of the best things you can do is do the one that you haven't been doing the most consistently. Yeah, such an excellent point. And then also, I want to add this. This this always cracks me up. Do them both. Why can't you just do them both? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like we do this either or all the time. Like, oh, which one's better? I better not fucking do them both. Who right. Cares? I mean, that's my point. It's like, you know, run one for a, a four, six week, you know, cycle. And then after, switch to the other yeah, one. And then switch to the other one for four to six weeks. You'll get the best of both worlds.